Hey guys, this is Saurabh Nahar here from All About Technologies and today we'll be taking a look at the benchmarks on the Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. So let's start. Starting with the multi-touch test, we just have two multi-touch points on the device which is very disappointing but we can't help. And now let's run Quadrant stand, uh, Standard Benchmark and I'll run the full benchmark test for you guys so you can check out the scores when it is done and I'll keep the device aside for the time being by the uh, time it gets over and I'll be back with the scores so finally the scores are here and you can see the score is 4208 and in case you want to see the details you can see it over here you can read all the details and now let's run other benchmark test which is Nina Mark 2 benchmark that will show us the FPS score on the device so let's check out that and let's run the benchmark test and we are checking out FPS because it helps in like judging with, uh, whether the performance of the gaming would be good or not because FPS does affect the gaming performance if you don't have good fps score the gaming would be not as good as you would like it to be so the score is 59.3 fps which is good for this device and let's move ahead and run the n22 benchmark and we'll be running the full benchmark test and we'll be waiting for the results so I'll run the full benchmark test now and keep the device aside by the, tem uh, by the time it gets over. So I'll be back with the scores. So finally the scores are here and you can see it comes at the last place and it is below Asus Zenfone 5 and the score is 18,611 and you can also check out the detailed scores in case you want to and also I would like to share something with you guys that after going into the settings you can just go into the application manager and here you can see the device memory which is the internal storage which is around 5 GB that is enough but you can also expand it up to 64 GB and you can also install the applications or you can move the applications to your SD card which is fantastic and you can do it like this the same way I did and that's it guys you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter for more updates on this device and also i'll be coming up with gaming and full review on this device so for that you need to hit the subscribe button below and you will be posted regarding all the updates on my channel and also hit the like button below if you like my work this is saurabh nahar here from all about technologies you guys have a great day thank you guys for watching